Determination is our topic tonight with Ed Benevente. Let's, let's go straight to Ron from Manila. Ron, good evening. Uh, hey, um, Ed, um, just want to clarify. The, the governor regularly addresses the entire public as Guamanians, inclusive of non-Chamorros. Will they be able to vote for Guam's political self-determination, these Guamanian non-Chamorros that he often calls out in the public? You know, they're interchanging it right now. And there's almost like an evolution of our names as well. But the bottom line is this. The Guamanian Chamorro uh, of the 1946 are, are the same people. So, you know, you just all you have to do is, who was there in 1950? Mm -hmm. Who were your parents? You were born uh, prior to 1950? You're it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so clear uh, as to who is Guamanian and, and Chamorro. Because in the international level... And you may not even have a Chamorro name. <laughs> absolutely. I mean, there you go. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, but it's clear within the United Nations and within the definition of the, uh, or, uh, the U.S. Congress when they, they enacted the Organic Act as to who they, they were referring to. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you can see that even with the secret mm -hmm. study book sure, that sure, was, was sure. released or disclosed mm -hmm. in 1976 mm -hmm. that they kept repeating. Even, I mean, was it Bush? No, it wasn't Bush. Uh, who was the, well, whoever it was who was the president at the time mm -hmm. said Chamorro. Chamorro. Yeah, Chamorro. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. there you go. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, okay, no, he's off the phone. Anyway, um, the governor is pushing for possibly 2012, realistically. W when do you think, in order for the people of Guam to get a holistic and, and more education of this, when the three statuses, uh, actually what we're going to vote for, basically, when it does come down to, mm -hmm. to a vote is uh, either statehood, uh, free association, or, or uh, independence. Right. How much time do you think in, in your your area of expertise, how much time do you think we're going to need to properly educate and vote truthfully when I go into that booth that I really know and I understand this completely? I don't want to profess to be an expert, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, at least with the experience mm -hmm. that I, I had with yeah. uh, mm -hmm. other activists in the time, mm -hmm. uh, at that time frame, uh, believe me, if the administering power, mm -hmm. I mean, they did it with trust territory, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. yeah, FSM, uh, the Republic of Palau, uh, the um, Republic of the Marshals, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, CNMI, mm -hmm. uh, for example, those were funded by the United it States. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to be at least putting the monies out for the education part. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to be informed. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing. Without uh, educating our people with regards to these three mm -hmm. uh, political status options, mm -hmm. uh, we will never have an informed people walking to that booth. Now, now, uh, now, 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 now let, me, let me ask you this. <clears throat> the CNMI voted years back for mm -hmm. a Commonwealth status. Mm -hmm. It's looking like more and more people are saying, ah, this is probably not the status that we, we, we want. Mm -hmm. We probably need to pursue another status Absolutely. other than, than, than that. What do you feel about integration? Uh, well, we got to go back to, to mm -hmm. what had happened to the CNMI. Mm -hmm. You have to understand that right now they're under fire mm -hmm. with regards to their covenant. Mm -hmm. uh, you see uh, the uh, land issue in their covenant mm -hmm. uh, being fired upon. Uh, we already know that they, the United States took control of immigration mm -hmm. yeah. and took that away from their covenant as well. So mm -hmm. really, uh, CNMI, I, I don't want to speak for them. But I really want them as leaders mm -hmm. uh, today uh, to reassess, to reassess, mm -hmm. uh, reassess mm -hmm. their political relationship mm -hmm. with the United States and see whether uh, unification, uh, possible unification. Is there anything that we can learn from what they voted on versus what we voted uh, back in the 70s? Oh, for absolutely. Yeah. Always beware uh, <laughs> that when you have U.S. negotiators on the table, uh, make sure that your, your, uh, your I's are dotted and your T's are crossed and make sure that within the content of what was negotiated upon mm -hmm. is clear within you and your legal counsel next to you. <laughs> so, well, yeah. well, well let, me ask, let me ask you this. Should we get the opportunity to vote for one of the three statuses, uh -huh. uh, would there be a possibility if we, don't are, we are not properly educated that down the line mm -hmm. we could be saying, uh, maybe it's about time that we maybe reevaluate our status that we voted for? 
Well, it depends. If, if, if we all chose independence, mm -hmm. for example, then really there's no negotiation to be mm -hmm. taken part. Okay. But when you have free association, mm -hmm. you have a shared sovereignty, sovereignty. Mm -hmm. meaning you sit in that end of the table, I sit here, and mm -hmm. let's discuss immigration. Who's mm -hmm. going to control it? Sure. We'll do it. Okay. Uh, for example, well, uh, foreign affairs. Like, you know, signing economic sure, treaties sure. with China, mm -hmm. uh, bringing in tours from China or Russia, mm -hmm. for example. Why should I give that to you, mm -hmm. uh, United States? Let mm -hmm. me handle that mm -hmm. so we can uh, evolve uh, economically. Uh, let, These are sure. just examples. Now, let me ask you this as well. Um, um, and I've talked to quite a few leaders regarding this, uh, even before this. Well, well, when the inception of the, when we first heard about the military buildup back in 2005, 2000, 2006, we said at the time, you know, this is a perfect opportunity for us now to per pursue our, our self de uh, our self determination vote because they have a great need in, in things out here. Likewise, we have a great need, a desire to change our political oh, status. Absolutely, and, this and, is the perfect time. It's a perfect time. So, what must we do now? What must we do we, we, now that is now that is protracted, elongated out? Uh -huh. What do our leaders need to do? Our leaders need to work in solidarity. The executive branch, the legislative branch, even the judicial mm -hmm. branch work collectively in solidarity. Mm -hmm. Send a letter to the State Department, send a letter to the President of the Senate, mm -hmm. send a letter to President Obama, and send a letter to the U.S. Congress, mm -hmm. the Speaker of Congress, and CC the United Nations that we're taking that route. And I guarantee you that we would like to begin to negotiate. I mean, negotiate our political status. Well, let me ask you if some of our leaders are, are satisfied with the status quo. They don't want to rock the boat because they're satisfied with, with that. How can we move that how can we move that forward? There's some benefits and <laughs> impediments regarding status quo. But the status quo is not a political it's status. Yes. I'm telling you that because mm -hmm. that's why we're in this position mm -hmm. in the first place. Mm -hmm. We can't do anything. Uh, we totally depend upon Japan. We can't go elsewhere. Mm -hmm. We have to wait for decisions being made mm -hmm. 7,000 miles right. away. Mm -hmm. While CNMI, the Republic of Bilbao, can do that in their own. So those are the questions that we mm -hmm. have to ask ourselves. Do we stay as what we are, mm -hmm. or totally powerless, or do we move on? To and a better follow? status. Yeah, absolutely. And, and get to a better place. Oh, yeah. Ed Sidusmasi, thank you, man. We're going to have to bring you back for part two, part three, and part <laughs> four. Sidusmasi Center. On, on, for our own education uh, process it's here. But anyway, th thank you very okay. much. It's an honor right. and a pleasure again. Gr great to see you. You look healthy. All right.